What's up, guys? So I want to take a, a quick moment to um, kind of address an issue that's been going on recently that a lot of the, our mainstream media is not reporting. And it's basically about a gentleman in the UK named Tommy Robinson. And he's what you would call, a lot of people would call um, a right-wing activist, a conservative activist in the UK. Um, and one of the things he does is kind of expose uh, the negative, I guess, issues uh, surrounding what's going on in the UK these days, especially in regards to um, free speech. And one of the things that had happened uh, that he was addressing was an issue regarding um, an Islamic group uh, in the UK uh, that was actually grooming people, kids, uh, in regards to pedophilia and stuff like that. And he made an issue of it. Well, somehow in the UK, and I'm not in the UK, I don't live in the UK, I don't know their laws and how it's going, but the thing is that when he did that, they literally um, arrested him for exposing pedophilia that was going on within the majority were Islamic groups that were doing this. Um, well, that kind of backfired on him. The, the higher powers that be in the UK decided that, well, he was an anti-Islamist and he needed to be arrested. And so what had happened, from my understanding, he was arrested. Um, the judge had suspended a sen sentence. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're out there, you, you might know the story more. Um, or um, he was on probation. I don't know. I don't know how the law works there across the pond, but... Then I guess he had went to a courthouse, um, and I should have I should know a little bit more detail in the whole situation, you know, before I post this. But it just got me outraged. Um, and, and what happened was he was arrested for being in, at the courthouse and still, I guess, calling out um, this this pedophilia ring, grooming ring, I guess you would call it. And what had happened was, I guess the judge got wind of it, and he was kind of ranting on Facebook Live about, you know, about the issue. And the police, they ordered the police to go and arrest him. And he ended up going to um, getting arrested, going before a judge or a magistrate or whatever you call call them across the pond. And he ended up getting uh, um, convicted for 13 months in prison. And from my understanding from a lot of the people and a lot of the interviews I've seen on TV is that um, there are a lot of groups within their prisons and a lot of them are Islamic groups that are, you know, pretty, you know, I guess you say, uh, what would you call it, terrorist oriented, um, extreme Islamist, that would be the proper term. And now they're just saying that in the 13 months that he really has no shot at freedom. You know, and we don't hear about this over here in America too much. I mean, there are there are certain places, uh, a certain, um, I guess you would say, websites or programming uh, on the web, uh, live stream programming. I won't go into details of who because I don't want them to get banished. But the thing is, we're not getting, we're not hearing. Uh, too much about this and they're they're and all over the web they are labeling this guy um uh an extreme right wing activist or anything uh or something oh, gosh i can't talk right now i got coffee in my system like crazy but yeah he he got arrested he got 13 months they there people are saying that he might not survive in there because of these radical islamist groups that are already imprisoned in there and uh but here's the point that I'm, uh, I'm addressing, and it's Google's role, okay? And one of the stories I had just posted on my Twitter about was, um, here it is, read the judge's statement. And I tried, I, I've, I'm gonna have to put a screenshot up or something. But as you can see right here, Meghan Markle's sister, uh, she calls out Tommy Robinson. She calls for Tommy Robinson's release. Basically, it was a free speech. Uh, they were shutting him down. They were they were they were censoring him. Uh, the the courts decided that he was a, a radical, and that exposing the pedophile ring over there um, isn't of issue. But him calling out 
the Islamic group that's doing this pedophile ring uh, is anti-Islamic, which uh, is uh, indicative of racism. And I don't see how if you're calling out a group for regardless of who they are for doing such a sick behavior like pedophilia and grooming uh, kids and, and, and people as such for this, uh, you're going to get 13 months in prison for it. But back to my point with that rant, after that rant, uh, Google. Now, as you can see right here, I'm underlining right here six hours ago. This was only released six hours ago, and there's a lot of this going on. Google has decided to take this story, and I luckily I had gotten this story and I had retweeted it before they took it down. But once I tweeted it, I tried to look for it and try to put it up on Gab. And within minutes after I had reposted it, you get this. 404. 404 error. Within minutes. Within minutes, you get 404 error. Okay? Remember, this just only came out six hours ago. So Google has now taken it down. Now, could it be a technical issue or something like that? No, it was just taken down. But then I go over here to The Sun, and they have a, sim they have a similar ar article. And I try to, okay, well, then I'll try to copy the link for this article because it's basically the same article. It's coming from the same. Uh, and you get this. You get this right here. Google, 404. That's an error. And it was not found on this. So basically what I'm saying is Google themselves are guilty of suppressing speech and information. They don't want us to know about what's actually going on over there. So you, we have to look for alternative media to get a true story. Now, if you go back now, there's another thing that interested me. Let's see if I can find it real quick before I sign off because I don't want to drag on to this. Um, I scroll down here and there's, I don't think it's here. No, I'll go back one more. And as you can see, Uh, doom, doom, doom. There's a uh, Snopes. There it is. Fact checking. Okay. Was a far right activist jailed for breaching the court. Um, and it says I heard the claim that Tommy Robinson was jailed in order to silence his reporting on a sex abuse uh, trial in England and to protect Muslim pedophiles claimed by the national news dot, uh, com. Fact check by Snopes.com. False. That's not true. Snopes is actually portraying this individual as a liar or, or, or he's falsifying his claims and everything like that. But it's very there. When you got Google and Snopes saying that this is not happening, it is happening, but we're just not getting the information. We're not getting the correct information. And, and I just want to kind of throw it out there that UK, the UK right now is basically they're they're suppressing speech and if you if you decide you you have something to say um even in something as horrible as pedophilia uh just because the pet the, the the case of pedophilia tied in with islamists they rather look at him as an anti-islamist you know like a racist rather than looking at the core issue of children being sexually abused. That's a problem. This, you know, and the UK is kind of how America's standards are, are kind of, it, we follow free speech and everything like that. I mean, it, you know, basically the UK is almost, was almost like America. But now they're turning, they're going, they're sliding back into the Stone Ages. So we really have to sit there and, and really question what is going on with our information? And, and like I said, from, from what I see, Google has decided to basically, within a matter of minutes, take down the news report. And not just from one agency, but from multiple agencies. And these are the first the only two. These are the only two I've seen. But I'm just going to see. I'm going to check another one and see if I can get it. We'll check here the whole, I don't know what this is.